Welcome back to Rudy's One Six World for another First Thoughts video. And we'll be looking at the second in a series of surprise announcements from SoSo -So Toys. And that is a figure they've named Anna Marie, which is really rogue in a more comic accurate look, or even a look more reminiscent of the X-Men cartoons. And this one is a little more limited uh, than the Invincible at 400 pieces available worldwide. So before getting into the figure, it has felt a little quiet these past few weeks. And it's almost like SoSo -So felt that and decided to just come out swinging revealing three figures and teasing another six still to come. And not gonna lie, this definitely feels like a major flex from them. I feel like the conversation recently in the six scale community has been fixated almost exclusively on hot toys and in art. And it really does feel like Soso -so said, watch this. This kind of announcement is something we've seen from hot toys in the past, but I don't think I've ever seen a third party company do this. So I think SoSo -So is positioning themselves as a big player in the market, which is again surprising for a third party uh, company since they usually do try to fly under the radar a little bit more. But enough with that, we're here to look at Rogue from the X-Men and she has to be my favorite of today's announcements. I think this is a, a huge home run for SoSo. -So. Now I did notice some criticism in the Facebook groups regarding the sculpts but I think they look incredible. And maybe that's because I grew up watching that X-Men cartoon, so there is a little bit of bias there to, to like this figure off the bat, but I think the figure looks really impressive. So let's start with the sculpts this time around. And Soso -So is giving us two different uh, heads right here. One is a more serious stoic look, while the other has a small smile. And the hair is swappable between them, so you're just getting that alternate uh, portion of the face. So again, Social really impresses me with the ability to do these variable options for the figures. And I do think the face looks great. Like with the Invincible announcement, they really chose to, to go more realistic with the sculpt as opposed to animated. So I like that and I think she will fit in great with the collection. Paint applications and eyes and skin texture all top notch as we would expect. The hair itself, I, I know in art has been impressing everyone with Rooted. I personally can't get on that bandwagon. Very much a personal preference for me, but here I love what Soso -So did with the detailing uh, for the hair, like it's blowing in the wind. It makes the figure feel just a little bit more dynamic. And there's a ton of detailing here, including the great work on the green band on her forehead. Now, moving on to the uniform, I love it. I think the green and yellow are very accurate to her X-Men uniform, and I like that there is some nice texture work on the green panels of her suit. Leather jacket here is a total highlight. I think tailoring on it is just impressive with the zipper details, and I love the X-Men logo on the shoulder. Same thing goes for the belt. Looks really well done, and again, those X-Men logos on the belt clasp and her chest just look great and make the figure stand out. Finally, the boots. Talk about great work sculpting and detailing wise. There's a ton of detail on these and they're also split cut, but the joint is hidden really well. So I'm impressed. Figure looks and feels like Soso -So really showing what they're capable of doing. They even have shots with her paired with the Soso -So Gambit that was released previously and they look great together. So of course it is causing me uh, to have a little bit of regret since I did pass on that Gambit figure, since I was trying to stay exclusive to MCU versions of Marvel characters. So I, I really don't know about this one uh, in terms of whether I'm gonna get it. Part of me is trying very hard to jump, not jump into this comic X-Men line, but this figure looks so good and I don't know if I'll be able to pass on it. I guess these are the decisions that plague us collectors. Um, it will be probably a game time decision for me, but if you are interested, these are limited and so -so toy figures in general do tend to sell out relatively quickly. So I, I wouldn't wait on these. As far as tease releases yet to come, I think a few are obvious, guessing Old Man Logan, Soldier Boy from The Boys, Mr. Knight from Moon Knight, Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen, and I think they're gonna do a Witcher figure. Again, not sure who that final one is, but still looking forward to all these announcements. So that's a quick look at Rogue. Like I said, I am tempted to get her, but we'll see. So let me know what you think and if you are tempted by this one. And as always, if you are enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching for a little bit, and we'll touch base on the next video.